Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here. Going to play some tarot today. Thank you for tuning in one more time, my friends. I definitely appreciate your time. I know how valuable it is. And uh, thank you. I appreciate you reaching out and touching that like button. And if you haven't yet, touching that subscribe button right over there. I myself, personally, I, any any YouTube video that I take a minute to look at, I, I reach out and give them a thumbs up. I just appreciate the time and the effort that they put in to uh, bringing me some form of entertainment and all that. But that is just me. If you've reached out and touched those like buttons and subscribe buttons, thank you. Definitely a shout out to all my Capricorns that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you. I appreciate them all, large or small. Man, these cards want to talk. They want to talk. Appreciate them all, large or small. If you, thank, if you have blessed me with a donation, thank you. And of course, all my Cappies that have Reached out for private readings with me. It's always a blessing to get to know you on a personal level. Quick announcement. My next uh, Sunday fun day will be July 21st, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, hit that bell if you want to be notified. Because it's you that making the Sunday fun days. It'll be on the 21st, 5 p.m. Eastern all right, let's play some cards here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go through my normal spew. Gets me in my rhythm and all that. Here we go. These readings will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of July 2019, mid-month as we head into August. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Home, work, family. All that goodness we got going on in our worlds. I myself going to be focusing on love. That's because I love to read for love. We all know there's no possible way this is going to be for every Capricorn on the planet. So if this general reading resonates with you, run with it, have fun with it. If it doesn't, have fun throwing it out the door. Let's just have some fun today, huh? All my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. I love you guys. I want to remind you, even though I'll be saying Capricorn a lot, these can very well play out from your perspective, probably will. This is Source, it's Tarot. They have a way of putting these videos together for who's ever looking at them. So let's fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, because these can play out vice versa. We all know that. Let's see where you fit in the story, if you fit into the story, and all that funness, huh? All right. Capricorn, been shuffling your cards for a minute here. Let's go with this right here. Here we go. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tarot, hey, love team. Capricorn's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. Thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see what I need. Help Capricorn see and hear what they need out of this read today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Capricorn's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Capricorn. Cut in the deck. Capricorn, first card out is the old Four of Wands right in the middle of your spread, huh? Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. The old 1111 card right there, you know. Shows the loving couple dancing with each other, celebrating life under the garlands of the four wands of passion, holding up all those beautiful flowers. Interesting, interesting, my Capricorn friends. You know, these eclipses, Cappy, are going to be all about you. And we got an eclipse coming up on the 16th. It's in Capricorn. It's going to be all about your first house, about how you see yourself, how you want other people to see you. And the other ones are in your seventh house. Cancer right there. They're going to be about committed relationships, how you see them, how you want people to see relationships with you. And it's going to be a very interesting year for my Capricorns, huh? And my Cancers. 
And we got another set of eclipses coming into November sometime, but definitely going to be experiencing something amazing this year. It's all about you, Capricorn. Four of Wands right in the middle of your spread. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy right in the heartbeat of this Celtic cross. Well, there it is right there. There's that little fire sign, huh? Now, you know, this is very interesting energy right here. It's my great adventure of the tarot deck. It is that fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. You know, um, this is the, they're, they're <laughs> I don't mind these people. But, you know, this can talk about an upgrade in a relationship mm, with somebody, regardless of their zodiac sign, that has that player energy about them, you know. They're generally good looking, charismatic, they're fun to be around. That's why I don't mind them. Huh? They're super fun to be around. Somebody that comes galloping in, they may gallop back out, you know, if you're looking for that old committed relationship right there. Let's see what happens here. Because, you know, there could be some change in this energy right here because of these eclipses that are going on, huh? Yeah for my Capricorns in their seventh house and in their first house right there. The old Knight of Wands crossing over top of Four of Wands. Boy, there's a lot of passion and a lot of fire energy right in the middle of this spread right there. Whoo, Capricorn. <laughs> the base of the spread is Ten of Cups, huh? The Happy Ever After card. That's what I would see that my Capricorn wants more than anything else is the happy ever after. Once upon a time, there was Capricorn and they lived happily ever after. Has that rainbow with the nine cups of wish fulfillment on it. The tenth cup in the lover's hands right there. The babies of the bliss running in the yard. You know, love this card. I wish I could blow it up and put it behind me. Love this energy right here. Ten of Cups at the base of the spread with Four of Wands. And, you know, the great adventurer in the middle of it all. Huh, Capricorn? Oh, yeah, the old Diablo coming in here. It's that Capricorn energy. Not to say that my Cappies are the devil at all. More passion, no doubt about it. The devil's always about passion, huh? Whoo, Lord have mercy. With the Ten of Cups right there and that old player energy, you know, the devil card's about releasing yourself from some self-imposed bondage. So there may have been some cancers, even though this is that 1111 card right in the middle of it, you know. If they're not playing right with you, huh, Cappy? You may release yourself from that energy right there, you know, because we got one of them, they're awake, and the other one's still asleep. But these two are definitely chained together. You know, this one may not understand why they're chained, but this one's beginning to understand why they're chained to each other, you know. Um, it doesn't surprise me that the devil shows up in the old four of wands. How many of my tarot enthusiasts understand what I'm talking about right there? Definitely Capricorn on the board right there. Definitely passion between these two. Whoo, Lord have mercy. And definitely somebody a little free-spirited in the midst of all of this, huh? You know, it could have could have ended the old ten of cups that had been playing out for a minute. But let's see where this goes. Two pinnacles on the top of the spread. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Definitely, you know, it's my dancer. He's doing the dance of change. He's keeping himself balanced in the midst of all of this as we head towards August, huh? Definitely may have separated yourself from the old player energy right there, whatever zodiac they are. Hmm? Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, you know. It's the, old, it's the old juggler. He's keeping himself balanced right here, huh? Yeah, you may have separated yourself from him because, you know, somebody's juggling and all that. 
but still see the potential of it all with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. You know, this is somebody that knows that this is going on in their heart right here. Waiting for the other one to have that grandma awakening right over here, huh? Definitely uh, shows the two ships up on top of the sea in the Terra Luminata here. The seas are rough and the sails are tattered, but those ships, they've never really sank. And the old dancer doing the dance of change right there with the two pinnacles in their hand. Those pinnacles have never hit the ground. Why? Well, there's an infinity symbol around these coins right here. It's really about my cappy, man, just being balanced in the midst of all of this, huh? With the great adventurer right here, releasing yourself, even though, you know, it's a strong divine connection right here. And the potential of the Ten of Cups to come in. Let's see where this goes from here, huh? Ooh, oh, the star card wanted to come in on your spread here, Capricorn. Star energy right here. Lord have mercy. Whoo, somebody may be a star around here in some way or another. Hmm. Super nice. This is Aquarius, may mean something to you, may not. I got Capricorn on the board with their major. This is that card of wish upon a star. See things the way that you want them to be. So is that golden angelic being right there with the two cups. The two cups always talk about the true love to Mikey. One pouring in the water, one pouring on the land. These two may have been in separation for a season right here because somebody wants something solid and committed and somebody's being a knucklehead. And somebody's staying nice and balanced in the midst of all of this, huh, Capricorn? Wish upon a star. You know, you don't get the star card to show up unless you've been through hell fire for a minute. Sets next to the tower in the lineup of the Major Arcana. It is that card of great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It is that card of healing coming in here. Huh? All that soothing, cooling water that puts out hellfire. Star card in the immediate future. Ooh, I felt good about this from the beginning of Four of Wands and then the Ten of Cups. And somebody just staying balanced in the midst of it, even though they may have released themselves. Huh. Yeah, here we go. The moon card. Well, there's those old eclipses coming in here from a Capricorn. Hmm. Yeah. This is Cancer. It's Pisces. It's our third major arcana on this spread right here. It does say keep your eyes wide open, don't it? But, you know, we all know who that one is. If this is resonating with you, we all know who that is right there. This card's definitely about following somebody or something that's intriguing to you. Down that old smoke-filled trail right there. Why would we go down that smoke-filled trail? Well, the Terra Illuminati on the flip side of the moon certainly looks to me like the sun's shining in that land over there. This little crab, he's coming out of that water. He's going to go down this road right here because he wants to see if that sun is shining in that land right over there. Huh? Got <laughs> the moon and the stars showing up here in your spread so far. And somebody just being balanced in the midst of it all because they know there's an infinity symbol floating around here. Exterior influence is the three of swords, the old heartbreaker, soul shaker. Lord have mercy, huh? The old heartbreaker, soul shaker. Could have been, you know, the old devil energy right there. Could have been just bliss and all of that, huh? The old juggler and all of that. The old moon card. That's what you could be looking at right now, you know. But I see the star coming in. I see healing and hope coming in. Because you know what I'm going to do with this card right here, huh, Capricorn? I'm going to shake them out. Are you ready? Here we go. Out! Get out of Capricorn's heart. Out! Whew, that's good. I got a little release on that myself. Nice. Here we go. 
four pinnacles on top of the spread. You know, with me, this is that card of two people mirroring each other, holding on to each other with their heart chakra, but feeling closed off from each other. Mm -hmm. These two are hanging on to each other, even though there's probably been some separation with that old three of swords right there. You got that healing bomb coming in here, though. That's a nice card right in the middle of the spread. Oh, and I like the outcome, too. Huh? The chariot wants to come galloping in this spread right here. The old dark pony and the light pony. In the rider way, we have the yin-yang in between them here. This is Cancer. This is also Sagittarius for Ramblin' Mike, because I can't ignore these two ponies right here. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful spread. This is a card of victory and triumph and travel and movement towards each other. Because even though the pony's been galloping, pulling in different directions, Charioteer right there is tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. They're driving their chariot exactly where they want it to go. There's no doubt this relationship has pulled many of my cappies out of their comfort zone. Splashing through all these emotions of life right here. But that charioteer right there, he's tuned in, man. He's focused on what he wants to manifest. What's he want to manifest? He wants to manifest the star. This is a beautiful card of union coming in here for you. I, I, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, man. This is a nice uh, twin flame, soulmate, life partner energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, that's what we need. Another major arcana for you, huh, Capricorn? The high priestess. She's all about intuition, psychic abilities, Secrets. I don't think there's any secret here that my Capricorn doesn't know about. My Capricorn that's tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. My Capricorn is driving their chariot exactly where they want it to go. These two are probably dreaming about each other. You know, four pinnacles right there and the high priestess. These two are holding on to each other with their heart chakra. They're dreaming about each other. Both of them want to drive the chariot towards the star. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups. Can very well talk about a reunion. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. It definitely shows these three young ladies all with their cups raised to the divine. Celebrating life, huh? Whew, man, this is nice. There's going to be some movement. If these two have been in separation from each other, you know, the star card with the two cups, one pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. Uh, the two ponies have been running in different directions, but charioteer right there getting in that chariot. They're going to go see each other right here. They're going to break all this silence right here, all this moon mystery and all that. This is going to be a reunion right here between these two. And the secret could be, you know, that there's somebody else, but that ain't no damn secret. This Capricorn knows all about that right there. Got the Queen of Wands right here. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Could very well be Capricorn's energy because this is, uh, <laughs> this is somebody that uh, is very good looking. They know that they know, they know who they are, huh? They're the life of the party. The party doesn't show until uh, start until they show up. They are full of passion. There is just extreme passion here. I mean, all of this passion all over this board right here. You know, and this is somebody that's magic, huh, Capricorn? Got a little black cat right there. They're not afraid of the esoterical world. Probably involved in the esoterical world, huh? Yep. 
This is somebody that knows their worth. And if they're not showed the worthiness that they're worthy of, they will skedaddle on down the road, huh? You know. This person, there's going to be, I see all kinds of movement here as we come into August. Come in to, because uh, these are immediate future right now. I see the juggling going on. I see these two holding on to each other with their heart chakra. I see these two healing their wounds from each other. You know, allowing Source to minister to them. A reunion with great passion coming in here between these two. And there is an offer coming in here. My Princess of Pentacles, you know. She's, you know, about communication coming in here. Probably towards more the end of the month, huh? Maybe as we go into August, there's absolutely going to be some communication here, because these ponies, man, they 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 are they want to hang out. These two, they all want to hang out. See these cards right here. How many even know what these cards are about? I do. Look at them right here. These people are not going to be able to stay away from each other. Right there. Right there, and this is the immediate future, huh? Let's get back to Ten of Cups action between these two right here. It's because you know your worth. You know, and, and you know, old witchy poo right there, this person right here, the old devil, huh? They probably feel like you put love spell number five, six, and seven on their ass right there. They cannot stay away from you, huh? There's communication right there. Hey, Cappy. Let's go have a cup of coffee. Let's talk about this right here. Let's come out of these old red flowers, you know. Let's come out of this challenging time. Let's go take a walk by this Japanese cherry blossom tree of good luck and good fortune. Let's let's get a new start coming up out of this, you know. Hey, we both know where the harvest is at, huh? Let's go have a cup of coffee and talk about this. Because it may have been this Capricorn right here, because they know their worth. They walked away from this player energy right there. They know their worth, you know. They, 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 the high priestess and the, and, and the queen of wands. I mean, you're not pulling the wool over this person's eyes. This Capricorn that I'm looking at right here. They know exactly what's been going on. And uh, they've been uh, focused, setting their intentions on what they want to manifest. What do they want to manifest? The star, four of wands, and ten of cups. Huh? They've definitely been on a journey down this old smoke-filled trail right here. Oh, lots of heartache and heartbreak, but we shook those swords out. I love it. I see potential talking coming in, forward movement. This is the victory card of the tarot. And it crowns this spread. Doing the dance of change. Somebody's doing a dance of change here. Could it be this devil right here? Hmm. Could it be? We're going to find out, huh? Because they are not going to be able to stay away. From this amazing queen right there. They're not, they're not going to be able to stay away from them. Huh. It's a nice spread, Cappy. I see victory coming in here for you. My old queen of love right there, agape love on the base of this spread as well, huh? My goodness, man. If that's who you are, Cappy, you know, this queen of love and this queen of passion, no way can this person stay away from you, huh? Continue to uh, do things that's best for you, huh? Yeah, it's a nice spread. It really is. It talks about the dance of change happening right here. Capricorn. You've already done the work. You see the star. I see the chariot driving straight for the star. Here we come into the summer of love right here. It's nice. It's nice. Capricorn may have walked away from him. Hmm? A lot of sacred feminine did walk away from all that knucklehead bullshit. And they're just not going to play with it anymore. When they come in, they need to come in right. Because, I mean... Look at, look at this. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Super nice. You know, it's crowned with that. Very nice. Uh, C3 cups. There's a reunion coming in here. There's a star in the chariot. And it's because this cappy right here that I'm looking at, man, they did what's best for them. They loved on themselves first and all that wonderful stuff right there. They did the work. They did the inner work right here. All right. Love, love cards on this, please. Yeah. The old mask card right there. Deception. 
You know, somebody's had a mask on, but this picture right here shows an angel up there doing the best they can to untie that mask. All these masks are coming off anymore. Here we go. More love cards for Capricorn, please. Yeah, heart to heart conversations. There it is right there. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Boy, she's telling me about her, ain't she? Heart to heart conversations coming in here for you. I told you they're not going to be able to stay away from you if this is resonating with you. They coming in right there, man. The chariot right there. They know where their star is. So this, you know, there may be a Capricorn or two out there that's got a little bit of fame in their world. I mean, they are, they are a little goat that climbs the mountain that gets to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. They coming in for their star. Hey, can we go have a cup of coffee and talk about it? I'd like to take this mask off. Nice spread, man. Here we go. One more for Capricorn, please. Retreat. Check it out, man. Shows these two loving couples just taking it easy. Not putting any pressure on the situation one day at a time, huh? Taking a walk in the woods. It's an interesting walk because one has a tuxedo on and one has a wedding gown on. One of them has gray hair. You know, there may be an age gap. One of them looks dark and the other one looks light, like these two ponies right here. Yeah, this twin flame soulmate life partner, man. Source is doing their best to put everybody back in their place. Get everybody to take their masks off. Get everybody to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Get everybody not to put any more pressure on this stuff than is needed, huh? It's a nice spread, man. It's got victory crowning it, driving it towards the star. You know, if you if you walked away from them right there, boy, they, they miss it. <laughs> and they are not going to be able to stay away from you. They're dreaming about you and all that, man. Huh. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Major on top of this for Capricorn, please. Thank you, love team. Tower, sudden change, you know. This is Mars energy. This is uh, Aries, Scorpio, the majors that I have on the board. Aries, Scorpio. This is Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Capricorn right there. More Cancer, Pisces. But there definitely was a tower in this between these people right here. There definitely was a tower because there was some deception, three of swords, all that shit right there. And you know that source that strikes the tower right there. That way, the power of the tower is, you know, show us what we don't want so we know what we do want. So we set our intentions just like that charioteer right there and drive our chariot exactly where we want it to go. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the bottom of the deck is, you know, a lover's card coming in here for you, huh? It's Gemini energy as well. And with the David Bowie deck right there, you know, there's only two lovers in this card, not the three. Super nice, man. I see this all ending. All this third-party knucklehead bullshit, man. It's coming to an end right here. Soon and very soon, my friend. Continue to see it the way that you want it to be. The lovers right there with the two lovers in the heavenly and the two lovers reflecting in the pool and the ooey-gooey, soft and chewy coming out of them right there. Nice spread, and this can be a suddenly, suddenly this person can come charging back into your life, man. My cappy, my cappy, my cappy. We need to talk, we need to talk, we need to talk. It's a nice spread, Capricorn. Happy for you. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Cappy. Bye for now.